Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to pop on here before the video actually starts and thank Tamara and Kat, Tamara from Southern Wife Everyday Life and Kat from Southern Farming Kitchen for hosting this video that is part of an open collaboration grocery haul. So make sure you check out both of their channels listed below along with the collaboration link. I am sure you will find some inspiring grocery hauls in that collaboration link. So now let's get on with my video. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanne and this is Leanne's Life. Today is another grocery day. It's Sunday morning and I usually don't pop on here and show my face on grocery hauls, but I wanted to come on here and explain what I am doing. I am doing a grocery challenge and meal plan budget this week. So this video will be the actual grocery haul. I am setting a limit for breakfast, lunch, dinner, seven days, $5 a day, $35 for the week for one person. I am vegan um, other than eating seafood. I guess you call that pescatarian. Um, for past two months, I have eaten a vegan lifestyle and it has changed me dramatically as far as sensitivities to certain foods. So I am going to start to slowly, very slowly incorporate other foods back into my diet, such as seafood, which I've already have. Um, this week's grocery haul will be completely vegan just because of the money factor. So I'm set myself at a $35 weekly budget. I had planned out meals already. They're already on my fridge. I have my grocery list. Um, and I'll explain to you how I did that. So I just picked certain foods and I calculated the number of servings per container, per package, and tried to incorporate cheaper items to, to incorporate into that meal. So I listed out everything and I went on to walmart.com, onto their grocery um, service online, and I just typed in what I wanted and it gave me the price. Now, of course, it's going to either be a few cents more here or there. I, I mean, of course, but it's just a round amount budget. So right now for seven days a week, three meals a day, um, I have it budgeted so far at $28.87. Now this does not include snacks or fruit. So I do wanna incorporate fruit as my snacks this week. So hopefully I can get this up to $35 with just adding a little bit of fruit. So I personally don't shop at Walmart. I don't like their produce very much, but I picked Walmart. I was gonna pick Aldi, but I picked Walmart because I feel like everybody, everybody has a Walmart, so this can be kind of mimicked all over. So let's just get together, finish my coffee here, and um, get myself together and head over to Walmart. I'm not gonna take you through the store because I wanna concentrate and add everything up and calculate everything up to make sure I hit that 35 or under budget and I will bring it all home to you for you to see and the second part part two of this video will actually be what I eat in a week so make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell so you're notified when that video goes live so let's go to Walmart Hello everyone, I am back from Walmart. This is my haul, I will go through every item. But I wanted to show you, here is my receipt. And I did spend $34.73, so I did come under budget, which is perfect. And I got a few more things that were not on my list. So I'm just going to jump right on in. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what everything is for. You're gonna to have to come back to my next video um, and see what I make for breakfast, lunch, and dinners. So I picked up two cans of Hunt's pasta sauce. In the can, garlic and herb. I picked this because there's already seasonings inside. So if you've watched these challenges on YouTube before, as far as oils and seasonings, I'm not including that in my haul because mostly everybody has those things on hand. You have condiments that you have in the refrigerator that you use weekly that you only purchase once once in a 
you know, a long while. So I'm not adding those into this cost. And just so you know, the seasonings are extremely cheap at Walmart. The great value brand are only like 98 cents. So they're very affordable if you ever need different types of seasonings for a recipe or whatever. So, but I did pick up this pasta sauce, like I said, because it already has some flavor and seasonings inside. So I picked up two of those. I will also put the prices, if I didn't say that, I will put the prices of each item on the screen. I bought a box of Rotini pasta, some of the great value medium thick and chunky salsa. This is huge, it's 24 ounces. So a lot of salsa for the week. Some fresh mushrooms, some Roma tomatoes, an avocado, one onion, now, I didn't pick up too much fruit. The only fruit I picked up were these two apples, but I also picked up some cucumbers to snack on during the week. Um, I know a lot of people who do these challenges sometimes don't pick fresh items, but I wanted fresh items to like produce to be included in my budget just to show you that is that is possible to get some fresh um, produce and stuff like that in a budget grocery haul. This was added at the very end. These two cans of chunk light tuna and water. They were only like 60 some cents or something like that. So I picked up two of those. I picked up a big bag of frozen hash brown potatoes. These already have onions and peppers inside. So that is perfect. Don't even need to eat, add any, but I did buy two bags of frozen peppers and onions here too. So these come with red bell peppers. Oh, the other one has red bell too. But if I wanted to bulk up the potatoes, I could add some of those in there. I bought a bag of whole kernel corn and some chopped spinach, frozen, all frozen. I picked up a jar of this wishbone Italian dressing, two cans of black beans, a can of cannellini beans. Beans are so versatile. They add a lot of protein and fiber into your diet. I highly recommend, especially if you're vegan. I bought a whole loaf of Italian fresh baked bread. It was only a dollar. I did not get the sliced one because in case I wanted to do a thicker slice, maybe with something with the sauce that I'm going to do, just so I can portion it out as I'd like if I want a thin slice or a thicker slice. A jar of manzella. No. I don't know how to pronounce that. I apologize. Some of these green olives with pimentos inside. That's a huge jar, 10 ounces. And they were only a dollar. That was a great price. Great price. Um, I was pleased to see, because this would have put me over budget if I had to get name brand plant-based cheese. This was very reasonable. They didn't have very much to choose from with the Great Value brand, but it is plant-based. It's mozzarella and cheddar blend. Um, so I picked up a bag of that, some tortillas, and some long grain rice. So that is my grocery haul for this week. Again, I spent $34.73. And remember to subscribe and so you are notified and hit that notification bell so you're notified each and every time I upload a video, including my budget meals for the week. Thank you everyone for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.